In this video we're going to look at the first part of the scientific report, the what you did, and we're going to break this into two sections. So in this one we're going to look at what you did, covering the aim, background information and the information you need to include in that, as well as the hypothesis. Okay, so basically the aim is what you're setting out to do. So it's your experiment and what you're trying to do in your experiment. And it's usually in the format where it starts with to investigate. And remember, we're looking at a cause-effect relationship. So it's to investigate that cause-effect relationship. So I've got a couple of examples here. Firstly, to investigate if the length of magnesium affects the amount of gas produced when placed in acid. Okay, so the cause there is the length of magnesium. The effect is the amount of gas produced. Second one, to investigate if the temperature of water affects the rate at which sugar dissolves. So the cause being the temperature and the effect being the rate of dissolving. You then need to have a look at some background information and you need to do a bit of research and find out whether this experiment has been done before. If it's been done before, you need to include the results, basically who did it, when they did it, and the results that they got. If it hasn't done before, you need to find an experiment that might be a little bit similar and explain that experiment and how it was different and whether you might see different results because of those differences. So it's just, again, building on that knowledge or that well, uh, bank of information that we have in science. So we get other people's experiments, see what they've done, and then add to that bank of knowledge. You then need to identify your variables. And in the a previous video, I've looked at the variables in detail, but you need to work out what your independent, dependent, and controlled variables are. You then need to form a hypothesis. And a hypothesis is a prediction of what you think will happen. And there's a specific format that a hypothesis needs to be in, in science. And it, so it has to be in the format that of an if-then format. And it must have your independent dependent variables as well as a prediction as to what's going to happen. So here's a little format uh, or a formula for you. So if your independent variable affects your dependent variable, then, and then you make a prediction of some sort. So if we look at the two examples that we had before, so to investigate the if the length of magnesium affects the amount of gas produced when placed in acid, we say if independent variable, the length of magnesium, affects dependent variable, the amount of gas produced in acid, then increasing length of magnesium will increase gas production. Okay, so if something affects something, then a prediction, something will happen. And for the other one, to investigate if the temperature of water affects the rate at which sugar dissolves, if temperature of water, being the independent, affects the time taken for sugar to dissolve, the dependent variable, then increasing water temperature will decrease time taken to dissolve. Now here with your hypothesis, the important part of your prediction is that you actually make a prediction. You can't say increasing water, water temperature will change the time it takes to dissolve. You need to say which direction that's going to go, so whether it's going to increase or decrease. In this video, we've looked at the first part of the scientific report. We've looked at the aim as to be what you're setting out to do, usually starting with to investigate, and then some sort of relation, cause and effect relationship. We then look at background information, so doing a bit of research. Has somebody done this before? What results did they get? If no one's done it before, has someone done something similar? And how is that different to what you're doing? And then our hypothesis, which is in the format of if the independent variable affects the dependent variable, then something will happen. Increasing one will increase the other, increasing one will decrease the other, some sort of prediction.